Hello everybody. Howdy, partners. Uh, welcome to another Red Dead Redemption stream on this, my definitive playthrough. Uh, it's been, the definitiveness has been run aground a few times, but we're, we're doing all right. Um, looking forward to where, uh, where this particular thing is going to take us. Um, but, uh, I want to say at the beginning um, to acknowledge uh, Dominic in the chat, um, who's been with us for a lot of these, um, whose grandfather tragically just passed away, and sending all good vibes and prayers um, for your dad, or for your, for your grandpa, um, and um, just wanted to say how sorry I am for your loss, and um, hoping that um, whatever this is will give you some solace and at least allow you to forget about um, what's been going on. Um, so. <sighs> so sorry to hear that, man. I know I know he fought hard, but. Um, yeah. It is um, it's never easy to go through any of that. Um, condolences to you, my friend Dominic. Um, whew, well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that this stream helps, um, and let's let's make sure it helps this time. Um, <clears throat> so uh, Arthur came in here to buy uh, to um, get an uh, engraving on a gun just to kill some time. Um, before he, uh, has to go meet Dutch and, um, and John. But he heard there might be a back room in here somewhere. Excuse me! Get out of there! Please, don't do that in here. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Nothing, nothing. Just, just uh, wanted to check and see. Now we know we can come back here and rob this later. But for now, it's uh, we're gonna get a drink and then we're gonna Hello. go meet Dutch and um, Boy. We're gonna meet Dutch and John. After we have a quick drink in the saloon. This saloon. No, 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 this saloon. Hello. Oh, all right, everybody, uh, we're, this is a stream working out here. We're going, we're doing good. Yeah, all the good vibes, all the good vibes, hey, everybody. I was just gonna meet Western oh, Batman. That's a good question. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. <sighs> Thank you. Santé. Quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. 
What do you do? How oh, very American. Mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have I been ridiculous. all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but oh, you I love paint. This guy. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Yeah, huh? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Yes. Art. It's for indeed. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Got our drink. Now it's off to go meet Dutch and John. What are you waiting for? Now, now, Buckshot, no hugging the street cars today, Buckshot. Okay? I know you're a very, very affectionate horse. No hugging street cars. Ever? Um, you mean worst in the movie that I hate the most, or worst in the movie that is technically the worst? That's a really good question. We've seen, we watched some really bad ones for our uh, sister show. Um, get the flick out of here. But um, as far as like worst for how it was put together, The Room is absolutely the worst movie. But. I've had, I've had worse times watching movies that were better made, if that makes sense. up here. Oh, hold on. Got to save it. Save game. And overwrite this. This. And we're ready to go. Troll 2 is really a terrible movie. I haven't seen it in a long time, but Troll 2 is probably the worst movie ever made, yeah. All right, here we go. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? 
Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired Europeans clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boys gonna get that shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, you get your Dutch. boss down here That's and now nice. so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Uh, you just put a dent in that guy's oh, forehead. Now, boy. Talking about being a gentleman. Was that the special Dutch charm Tonight, I heard Ali. so much about? Congratulations Relax. again. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono qui per Picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Hmm. Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. Huh. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant talker, of. Man. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Mm -hmm. Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No, we wouldn't want that, Angelo Bronte. No. no, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the Arthur. cemetery. Well, that is a fine so place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Got dark fast. What? 
Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. But that is true. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor gone kid. A lot worse. I ain't been a good father to him. You're just realizing hope... that now, John? <sighs> He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branch. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. I think this is it too. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Here we go. Come on. We're not riding in there. What do you think I'm doing, man? I don't need all of these guns. I don't need even one of these guns. These are not the guns I would like. Thank you. I want this gun, the gun I put on my person before I got off the... This way. All right. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Hey there, boy. Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. Where's this dog going? Shh, shh, shh. Can't see one. 
bastards are trying to draw us out. Reckon this is gonna wake a few people up? No doubt. You low down bastards! You send them down here! You can hardly see what I'm shooting at! If it moves, blast it! Don't you make us do the hard work then! I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time, touch it, go. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped. Gotcha. I got just wanted to, you know, loot a few corpses. Come on, let's quickly check that spot Find where it all kicked off. Here. here we go. Here we go. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. We have to go to the side. Well, you're going on the wrong side there, uh... John, you're going down the wrong side. This is the right side. This is the way to go. Hope you don't get arrested, but I'm going this way. inside this mausoleum. Pray he doesn't look in here. He doesn't. 
does. Gotta get him with a poison throwing knife. Don't look in here, don't look in here, don't look in here, don't look in here, don't look in here. Don't look in here. better at searching shit, you know? That's cops. Hey, teach me that, uh, that thing where you just... Teleport, John. Did you see his little dot on the menu map? It just teleported. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Brent, you can you can take him down non-lethally, but not. It's like we lost distance. him for now. Come on, not from a Let's distance. just get you there. Can take him down non-lethally, uh, but you're really quick. Cool. Let's get back to Dutch. And I well, do not want. It. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Yeah, I think so too. Like I, I said, we'll just see where we're at once we've got Jack. Marston is uh, is a secondary character in this game. Yeah. All right, let's get this done. Whoa! Good work, pal. Come on, Arthur. Here we go. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm Jack. glad to see you. Aww. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Oh, great. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah, everyone's gonna love the camp. Yeah! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? Have you ever had spaghetti? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. Papa Bronte. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh... I'm just glad you're this all right. This kid's been missing oh, for yes. 24 hours. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. 
Me and your pod deal with him. Oh, yeah, we caught him. I told him you would. We caught him. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, oh I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Jack's party. The last time this group of people are gonna be happy ever again. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, huh. let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Maybe thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Yeah, oh, 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 good to have you back here. Oh, we missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song, huh? Oh, yeah. Javier, play us away. Woo! <laughs> Bella sierra, morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, el cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ay, 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 ay. canta no llores, porque cantando se alegra. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. The first game breaker. Back, 
con la flor del tropillo. Me venía a consolar. You know, me and you should go get some drinks in San Denis sometime. I ain't sure that's a good idea. Ah, come on. There was one bad night. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. We did it. Well done. That's a weight off, all right. No stopping you, Karen. You better believe it. <laughs> Just say if you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Here you are. Eat up. Oh, I think so. Tell us again. Sure. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. Hmm. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, the, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <gasps> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> what a story. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Good to see you Come smiling on. again, Abigail. Let's leave him to play. Thank you here. again. Truly. Ah, uh, I missed that little rascal. So good to have you, you back. You me really, Grimshaw. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And I see a smile on your mama's face again. My master used to be on me, my miss. Reverend. Hello. You getting involved, Bill? Just getting my drink on first. Okay. <laughs> You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. Ain't nobody ever going to take him again. I swear. So, I was thinking, maybe it would be a little easier for me to keep an eye on him if we all stayed together. You know, in my room. You mean like a normal family? Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. You're right about that. Javier plays good, don't he? He sure does. Well, let's have a good night. We deserve one. <laughs> Karen and Susan drunkenly singing some ribald. I'm gonna be song. right at home there. <coughs> Micah's telling some that's it. story. Come on, Karen, join in. See it for what the hell. Oh no, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Suit Karen yourself, Dan. Another Super. song. Come on, fellas. What do you got for me? We did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. On board the heart and space. Pulling all about the sheep. Make love to about the sheep. Started out. Oh, there he is, Mr. Hoy and Mr. 
more things that need to trigger here before we can go to bed. There he is, old Arthur. Uh, Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. Uh-huh, you're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. <laughs> Take it easy, Miss Karen. Miss Grimshaw. See? See? what I tell you? This the speech by Dutch. Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. He's, he's already lost it. Man. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan, my friends. My loved ones, a plan it is a real plan. We are going to leave this place and we are going to find our own paradise, our own heaven. Yeah. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its peasants' vengeance on. We are gonna be free! That thunderstorm. Free. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch! The thunderstorm that is scripted to start. Every time you do this thing, when, when Dutch starts happy. screaming in that way, every time you do it, All that, that day roll of long thunder, man. On the prairies I ride, not even a dog to trot by my side. I apologize, I don't I no feel like cow chips around. My coffee I pour out being brown. I wash in the pool and I wipe on a sack. I carry my wardrobe all on my back. For want of an oven, I cook bread in a pot. And I sleep on the ground for want of a cot. The ceiling is the sky, the floor is the grass. My music's the lowering of my shiny white ass. <laughs> my books are guns, my sermons the stones. My parson's a wolf on his pulpit the of bones. bones. I but sometimes I rob a bank, bank on, on Main Street. Street. You can't blame me for wanting to eat. But show me a man that sleeps more profound than mm -hmm. big old Uncle Lion out <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> As yeah, the new papers call for our games to mine, says we're no good thieves that you should despise. A parson remarks from his pulpit of bones, fortune favors those who look out for their own. <laughs> there is something <coughs> terrible on the horizon. It's just such a beautiful touch.
the problem with you, Pearson, is that you're just a goddamn girl. <laughs> is that right? Sure is. But the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. Now, Bill, that wasn't very all nice. talk, huh? And what are you looking at? Not much. You all right? <coughs> I'm fine. You two stop acting like idiots. out on that couch. Guess we better go up to our room. Singing. Nah, I'm not going out back out there. It's pouring down the rain. There's a sense of foreboding that this this um, the storm rolling in in the middle of this amazing celebration. They got Jack back. But it doesn't matter because the storm is telling us there's something terrible on the horizon. Killed the cool firelight vibe, it's so true. So I'm, I've, I've lowered the, the sound of the game while keeping my mic at full. And it's difficult. I'm going to try and find a way to get a, 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 a mic that I can keep at my mouth level at all times while I'm doing this. Um, but uh, I got something on the way. I'm going to try and figure out a way to, way to hook it up in a way that will make it easier to hear me while not dropping the, um, the sound of the, um, the game too much. It probably is all the things going on at once. Um, I don't, I don't want to get it too low because I want you guys to be able to hear it, but yeah, it was just kind of a... There's so much going on in that party. sleep till noon. Figure out what we're going to do after this. <clears throat> right. 
I think there's just so much extra stuff that they do, you know? Let's have some, um, a little breakfast. Um, I'm very, um, very intrigued to see what the overall vibe is for this thing going forward. Because we've had a lot of fun with these things, and sometimes now it's going to turn from being fun to being not fun anymore. And we'll see uh, how everything turns out after that. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be very intrigued to see how the vibe of these things might change now that everything is going to be a little odd. good let's uh let's go rob a uh, stagecoach with lenny make sure we got everything we need out of this stuff i'll take some of those some of these There's um there's one um there's one um fireside song that can sometimes play not every time so I didn't want to wait around for it um at that place it seemed like Karen was already passed out but Karen sometimes sings a song all by herself at the fireside and considering she was the one who was closest to Sean and nobody, everyone's kind of forgotten about Sean in the midst of Jack being kidnapped and then found again. Hey. You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now. All right, that's all good. Let's uh, let's go see what's going up with Lenny. Let's remember to save here. No, Twitter hiding things because it's a new account? That's ridiculous. I don't want I don't like that. Sometimes new accounts have to be made. That's weird. It's very odd. No, Tim, Jack will not be eaten by an alligator. His his fate is somehow much sadder than that.
Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be no a huge such tape, thing. but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. That's right, Arthur. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. <laughs> I guess you. I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. All right. Arthur. Let's get going, then. He should be on his way right now. Seems like only yesterday you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, no. you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. You know, I, I've thought about it a few times. And um, you know how every gang member has their own specific horse that is theirs, that has a name and everything, but you're not allowed to, like, touch it or whatever? They won't let you ride the horse. If it's, like, sitting over here and I see Dutch's horse or Bill's horse or Micah's horse, I can't, like, ride the horse. I think if the character dies, the horse should still be at camp. And we should be able to decide that if we want to have that horse as our very own. Like, just adopt it. I think we should be able to do that. So I don't I don't see um, Sean's horse Follow anywhere. Me. I think it's gone. I saw a good spot for an ambush. But it'd be kind of cool Who's if you could take it. Who's the told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just going to have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. That's true, he for was. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Sure. stage, I guess. There we go. Arthur seems to sincerely doubt the veracity of this lead that Lenny has. I wonder if that'll come around to, uh, to fruition. I don't wonder it, I know. Just trying okay, to narrate here the story here. Whoa. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. I figured we'd take up position behind these rocks. Not want this. If I wanted it, I would have taken it. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming. 
coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. go there it is and I don't see no escorts neither <laughs> this should be a cakewalk are you sure about that you see any as soon as they're close enough we'll jump out hit them fast just wait for my lead okay Lenny I said wait for my lead this is a robbery drop your weapons and put your hands in the air I said drop the weapons, okay? Okay, just take it easy. All right, boy, anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit! U.S. Marshals, you're under arrest. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. No, it wasn't. Wait. Look, look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh, to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. He's still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right, see you back at camp. So the whole thing was a trap. Yeah, that's right. Just keep moving. Keep moving. You saw nothing. You didn't see nothing. I'm not blowing up the horse. Maybe I can let him go, though. Can I not let him go? I can't let him go. I can't cut him free. That's so sad. go ahead and investigate this church a little bit more. There's supposed to be some Lemoyne Raiders hanging out there. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Ah, but they're there right now. Looks like I gotta do some target practice on some rednecks. Okay. Got 
one guy up there in the window. There's another guy over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with you, pal. Shit! You were shot. Good shot. Ah, well, you know what? structure. Oh no, they're not all dead, Kate. There are a lot more of these guys. They're hanging they're hanging out. They're going to be running ambushes on Arthur all the time. You always have to be uh, wary of them because they love running ambushes. So But they do keep a lot of lockboxes in this little church. So it's a good thing, like, you know, come and hang out. See what's up. There's one lockbox. There's two lockboxes right there. Jewelry. Money clip. Pocket watch. Another lockbox right there. Billfold. 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 It's a really good place to come and look around and see if there's anything worth taking. There's one more, but I can't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was only three. All right. Some stuff. Take the gun oil, rifle cartridges, and the aged pirate rum. Then I will do one of these little things. I'll hop over there. Because in this bird's nest, there's a whole bunch of shit to find. A coin purse, cigarettes, and a cigarette card. Picture of a train. You remember the dead lady skeletal remains of a dead lady in the middle of a floor way up north where there's a um, uh, that was the place where we found the pocket mirror and there's a lady up there she's dead and there's a note you can find sent to her from somebody named Garfield who is a Civil War soldier on the side of the South. And um, he um, wants to desert 
and come and live with her, but he's worried that if they if they catch him deserting, they'll kill him. So he just wants the war to end so he can come and, and be with her. Well, I don't know exactly where, but you can find old Garfield. Not the cat, the Civil War soldier. You can find him somewhere over here. Are you Garfield? No, I'm feeling he's. Hold on. I'm gonna find out where he, where the the thing is. Glade Garfield. Here we go. Let's see, where is this exactly? Um, images. Okay. It's right up here. I'm, I'm pretty much right next to it, actually. It's right over here. Right over here. I thought so. It was over here in this thicket. There he is. There's old Garfield. Garfield. got run through by a bayonet stuck to a tree and died there. Let's read a letter. Letter to Garfield from Martha. October 8, 1864. Darling Garfield, I hope this letter reaches you before the battle of which you spoke. How dare you talk of getting yourself killed, you silly, proud, wonderful man. There is nothing finer than someone who can grow and develop and let go of old prejudices and lies. And that is the man you are. And that is why I love you so. But at the same time, you are a pig-headed, stubborn barbarian. Run away from the battle. Stop fighting and come to me. The war is over. Do not get yourself killed for a silly general's desire to prove he is not a coward. Be a coward for all I care and run away. Come to me here. I am waiting for you. All my love, Martha. So it sure looks like he tried to run away and they caught him and they bayoneted him to a tree as punishment. So sad. So sad. Yep. It's me, Arthur. Roll out the red carpet. Arthur's back. Hey, Arthur. Lenny, all good here? <sighs> all fine. Good. Stay alert. Okay. Real 
Save. Just want to. I want to see something here. Because I don't know. Ex I don't know if this is true or not, but I want to make sure it doesn't. I want to make sure I can reload the save if I need to. Because I don't want to talk to Strauss yet. That's a that's a, a separate line of of missions that I don't want to start yet. I want to start those later in the in the chapter, for I think reasons that will be that I'll be able to talk about later. But I do want to talk to Pearson, who wants to go hunting, and I want to know if I can just walk past Strauss without having to talk to him about anything. So I'm just going to walk around the other side of the... No, I can't do that, can I? Mr. Morgan. I'm not talking to you. You suck. Sweet. Let's go, let's go uh, hunting with Pearson. Sure, old man. Nah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting now? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No. There's monsters out there that'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur. I thought you were a man. No, sir. <laughs> when it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Whew. Head for those trees across from us, and we'll take a look. On the starboard side. The what? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no. Ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. Pull us in over there. Here? Yeah. Yeah, come on. All right. There's more than crawfish in these waters. Stop your whining, please. It's beneath you. This is the place. Now tell me, Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? No. Right, it's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? <laughs> Now, do you see this hole? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand and watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. <laughs> that is All quite a range, Arthur. Now. No pun intended. Wait, I thought this guy was a career Navy man. Like, he was in the Navy for 20 years. And th the way he talks about the Navy, I thought he was in the Navy for 20 years. I don't know how I missed this bit of dialogue every time I played this mission. I thought he was in the Navy for, like, 20 years. He was in the Navy for, like, nine months. <laughs> what, a, what a blowhard liar. God, I love Pearson. Oh, look there. Another crayfish hole, you see it? You try this time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. You're not squeamish, are you? 
Yeah, I got some. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? You know the drill now. There we go. What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. Well, you got gators on the horizon there, Pearson. Get down. Get down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those gators? Yeah. Three. And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So... Gator eggs. Really valuable. Even better eating. I love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them. Uh -huh. Draw their attention. And then right. run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Sumatra. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. Pearson, you're a fucking idiot. Somebody in there was talking about Jack's gonna get eaten by a gator. I think it's Louis Pearson, actually. Coming back. They're coming back. They must be angry. Okay, we All made right, it. sir, take us back to the dock. Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay <laughs> a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives top dollar for them. For millinery, of all things. Yeah, because who doesn't want a hat with an egg on it? Well, this has been very pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. Fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <sighs> oh, what? Thank you. Here, have some crawfish. I'll give you some of those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Pearson. That was fun. But we're leaving now. One fifteen in the morning. Time to go to bed. Well, I think I'm gonna turn in. 
How've you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. Hello. So do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but too I've, many Catholics. I've given up on all that. Oh. Me too, Reverend. I met a monk there. Kindly fellow, took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really, but he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in a city. <laughs> Who would have thought it possible? Yes. Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the poor. Sounds thrilling. Huh. We might just have to go pay that monk a visit. But first, let's go to bed. Okay. What video game is the worst? Oh god. Oh god, I don't know, man. Uh, there have been some bad ones. Uh, but I usually don't play them. Like, I, I weed them out before I play them, so it's hard for me to say. And what was that, what was that terrible WWE game a couple of years ago that was so buggy? That was, that one was pretty bad. must have come when I was out. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, mm -hmm. but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Mm -hmm. Oh, Arthur... I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. Sure. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Mm -hmm. Oh, Arthur. Oh, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Ugh. <sighs> This one hurts. This one hurts the most because even though I think for sure during the first encounter with them back in Valentine that she's using Arthur, if she is manipulating him here, she's so damned good at it. I honestly feel for Arthur because you can tell he really, really, really loves this girl. Or at least he did at some point.
it's funny because they don't actually include it on the map, but there is a legendary panther, and he's just south uh, west of here, right over there. This is where the legendary panther is. Oh no, yeah, that's where the legendary panther is. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go and hunt him. We'll go hunt the legendary panther. Good morning, Arthur. Arston. What's been going on? You know, this and that. Well, I'll leave you to whatever that is. All right, then. What do we? Oh, we got too many of these things. Let's just donate those. They only let you carry four, five of them at a time, so it's better to get rid of them. Ashwalani, Mr. Summers. How you doing? Stuff for the camp. All right, we've done our duty there. Morning, Arthur. There he is. All right. Let's go hunt us a panther. Since we're going into Saint Denis anyway, we might as well bring a panther with us. What book is the best? What book is the best? S. Alexander Worthy. What book is the best? Um, I'll tell you, my favorite author. Not my favorite Arthur, that's different. My favorite author from back um, when I was reading books a lot is a fellow named Jonathan Lethem. L E T H E M. Wrote a book called Gun with Occasional Music that has always stuck with me. It is a brilliant. Weird sci-fi futuristic Blade Runner type. He's a private eye in the future where, like, they've been able to genetically modify animals so they can appear more human and they can talk and they like wear like clothes and shit. It's an amazing book. I haven't read it in like twenty years, but it's it's a great book. Find this place where the legendary panther likes to hide. Stay here, boy. All right. Looks like 
something. Got a good head start on me. Must be a way off. Okay. Where are you? She got me. She got you. She got you. All right. All right. Little, some, just a few claw marks on the upper shoulder. Mostly fine. Mostly fine. I am now a full-fledged 10 out of 10 master hunter. Okay, fella. Yeah. Let's go back over there. Let's put some iodine on these cuts. And uh, change our shirt. And go into saint Denis To sell this um, panther carcass to the trapper. Well, I mean, it came from a, a panther that clawed me, but thank you. I'm going to run upstairs and change my shirt.
So what do you think of this place? You folks sure move around a lot. Yep, that's how it goes. Let's go change the shirt. Arthur. Easy there, John. Pardon me. This will, this will good. This, this won't show as much of the blood. Let's go down and ride our horse into Saint Denis. And um, maybe we'll help out this uh, monk with whatever um, whatever he needs help with, I guess. We can't ride our, our horse through the camp. They won't let us do that. So. Hello. Hello, indeed. I'm going to ride around the camp. to our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. Sure. All right. Where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's, let's do a good deed for today. Sounds like she's in distress. Let's let's help her out. Let's let's help her. Boy, you weren't kidding when you said Shaq. That is a bigger Shaq than Shaquille O'Neal. Easy, whoa. Sooner. Oh, 
Maybe the gators will come and get him. Just one more. All right, well, let's take him. Let's take him out. Top of each other. Perfect. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. <laughs> Thank you again. You my garden angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Now I gotta go sell my um my legendary panther. Come on, pal. All right. Yeah. Yep. Back to the life of an outlaw. Finally going back into San Denis to sell our legendary panther and help out this monk. This game sure does like to throw little distractions your way. I mean, I suppose I could have said no to that guy who wanted me to rescue his wife, but what kind of a cad would I be? Sometimes the Lemoyne Raiders like to ambush you there, but I guess not today. stage with Lenny. We went hunting with Pearson. And then we killed a, a legendary panther. And then we rescued some lady from home invasion. I guess we did do a lot of stuff. But just nothing that really like seems to I don't know, seems like a, a lot of extra stuff to do. 
not that it's bad. There's a lot of extra stuff to do. Oh, also we met Charles Chatonet. Which, by the way, Kate, you gotta go back to the beginning of the stream once this is over and watch the beginning where we meet Charles Chatonet. following you. I'm trying to move Will you stop this nonsense? with my panther. If you get it down south of Bulger Glade by any chance. <laughs> Long time no see, old friend. Alright, we're selling that. Good to see you again. So, buying or selling? Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. That's the complete set, I believe. Very good. It is the complete set. Thank you, yes. Okay. Let's go talk to this monk. Swanson was talking about. I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. A little can go such a long way. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He Very must true. be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but you know, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hello? 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 Don't 
bit of fruit, come by the best. You won't find no Don't you look where you're going? There. Go check Hello. out this pawnbroker over here. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. This is my brother's door. I I'm just watching it while he's away. Uh-huh. Sure. Hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Alright, we'll go down here. Ah, ¿Quién es? ¿Hay alguien ahí? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. Don't worry, I'm on your side. Por favor. Please, I get pumped. I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Give cash to captives. Here. Take that. And come with me. I know someone who can help you. Let's go. I do like being able to give them the cash that we robbed from the this way. broker. Not much farther. Poor bastards. No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Hello. Both saddles delivered right to your stable. Welcome back, sir. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. No. Give it to the poor, brother. 
Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Do that. Find the captives without threatening the sla sla slave owner. Now, I, I like threatening the store owner. It's a lot more fun to do it that way. Thank you very much. We need to go get a bath if we're going to meet Mary. Hello. Lynn. So, let's go over here. I don't know why it says it's locked. It can't be locked. That's not the case. So, let's go this way. Why would the why would the saloon be locked? The saloon. Hello. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I'll have the girls make it for you. Just, just head on up. Monsieur? What does a dried up old hag have to do to get drunk around here? This character Please. is so Gentlemen, crazy. Gentlemen, you're embarrassing yourselves. You're not even good drunks. <sighs> See that gentleman who tried to claim a bounty? Madam. Turned out he cut the wrong fellow. Thank God he brought him. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. Interact with her many times over and get more backstory of who she is. Develop a rapport with her over many times, coming to the same place. Yeah. Let's get our bath. In there, sir. I'm all right, thanks. No harm done. You just relax. Want to have a good time? No, I'm good. Thank you. Oh. All right, let's change our clothes. I see you are one of those. No judgment from me.
boots. Draw boots. Go find Mary Linton, and maybe we can convince her, her to fall in love with us again. Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me? I bring you knowledge from the East, the knowledge of New York, the brilliant minds of Wall Street brought here to the South. Who is wise enough to help themselves? Yeah, Let no, I'm not, I'm not interested you in your get rich yourself. quick schemes, fella. So, that guy who's, who's yelling by that place, he's got a, a get rich quick book, and he will sell it to you for $50. And he promises that you will then become wealthy beyond your wildest dreams. And then, uh, obviously, you don't. Uh, so you come back and say, hey, I read your book. I want my money back. And he says, all sales are final. And he runs away. You can chase him and beat him up and get your $50 back. But there's no way you can do that without incurring a huge wanted level by the police in the city, which then allow forces you to shoot them back, which increases your bounty hundreds of dollars. So it's best to never even mess with that guy. straight down Arthur Hello Mary You came Sure Whenever you call for me I'll come uh, Oh Arthur What's wrong Daddy Your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. 
It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. <laughs> oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> Please. You came all this way. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. <laughs> no, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. I guess there's an argument to be made that she's doing this on purpose. So what I don't do you think, think she is. he's I think up she's to? A very I'm not sure. Person does not he keeps know saying it's a disgrace. Is. A man of his standing has to ride around on some she's... old nag. Standing? Really he's usually purpose. falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way.
Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. I have eyes, Mary. I can see where he's going. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You look well. You used to be so skinny. Yeah, well, padded more like. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. All right. Okay, Mary. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was and mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother enough. left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, yeah. how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Yeah, sure. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that? Don't you? Hey, you, Ashton! Hold it right there! God damn it. My horse, hey, not the horse you said. Stop that coach! Where's my horse? Horse? Buckshot boy, where are you? Why are you just in the Buckshot? Where are you, Buckshot? Why are you just standing there? I called you. It is. I called you. What? You, you never have refused my whistle before, Buckshot. You hear me? Stop that damn coach! God damn it! Get back here! You stop right now! Stop the coach! Get off the coach. I thought that brooch, Baron! 
Aren't you up to this? You want me to cross? Oh, okay. I'll. I see. I don't think I should cross that river, though. That's a bad idea. I'm gonna go around. Yep. <sighs> this is insane. Leave me alone, it's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. So, something that I haven't seen anybody post any videos about. Um, after you beat him up and take the, take the brooch, make sure you loot the back of his coach. Something wrong button here. Um, there's all kinds of goodies back here. For one, the naval compass only exists in a drawer somewhere in the boathouse of the Braithwaite's family. Okay? It's really hard to get there without raising an alarm. But there happens to be a second naval compass in the back of this coach, in this mission, every time you do it. There's also a platinum earring, a silver emblem ring, a pocket watch, and a coin sack, and another coin sack. Just sitting there, waiting to get taken, hey and you boy. get zero bounty for doing it. Oh, no, wait, that's right. This takes you there on automatic. father I don't know you want me to go find him again not really well, let's take a walk I'll take you to the trolley thank you yeah got you your brooch back I won't ask probably best not Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh... 
Sexy hater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very... Um... <clears throat> Harvesterian asks, what's, what's special about the naval compass? The naval compass is a trinket. As, um, as uh, Kate has decided to call them, a trinket that is asked for by uh, Pearson in your camp, the cook, who says that he had an amazing naval compass and he lost it fleeing Blackwater. And you say, I'll find you another one. And there is one, but it is, it is hard to justify snooping in that particular building. Um... Uh, but it's not hard to justify opening the back of that crooked antique dealer's um, uh, coach and then you find it there and you can give it to him then. I've already given him the compass because I already went snooping in that building. But um, from now on, I will I will make sure that I, uh, I, I do it this way. Nice woman. Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> it's sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since well, I think the Nero naval himself. compass isn't necessarily only used doubt. in the Navy. You can as use it child, on land as well. It's a compass that points north. And if of they were Sunday, trying to, let's say, escape stir, east, I would create so you probably have a compass to make sure you're in the right direction. Are you in a rush, Arthur? The greatest show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! No, Arthur's not going to shoot anybody this time. They don't give you an opportunity to shoot anybody now. Um, it is fun to shoot people in that particular um, show, but not in this one. This one's just a musical performance and some dancing girls. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Denis. <laughs> I think I am uh, oh, over that's the pretty sea, good. But I told you this is funny. I think if I'm going to is broke to the blacksmith shop, Mary don't Mary. worry yourself with planting a crop. Um, the girls are wearing a uh, brand new gown. We're I've heading been to Arthur the Sunday in, town. Chuck a bag of coal miners and mountain folk. Loosen them stuff. 
Not the current one. I always saw I always saw myself as being actually um, and that I, I put these in on uh, uh, pedestals and so uh, it wasn't a definite Microphone level is as high as it will go, and honestly, it's it's only like now if I bring it down this far for the game mic level, like oh, it's only when I reach about oh, oh, flawless, half perfect. halfway. Oh, I see you. That it you, starts you to go down at all. Tones, right? Yes. So She's crazy. Pure spectacle and. I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Ooh. Stop it. Okay, Arthur. Now's the time. Let's do it. We're going to make a move. You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Poor Arthur. He tried.
this um, regular one was longer. Very good. I think the last one is the, is the dancing girls, and then it's over. Enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home. Good night, Alexander. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Can can girls. Oh, it's all life captured, right? All of the stuff in, in this game has all been life captured. They put the ping pong balls on people and make them kick their legs around and stuff. Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. Well, that's far So boating. thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, that's it. It's far away, right. we had stripes. Well, we wouldn't be able to shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. Once they're Arthur's free, then I'm free. Man. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Arthur is such a hopeless romantic. You can tell by the way he writes in his journal, he's such a hopeless romantic. He really is. Anyway, that's that. Yeah, it would be great if you could just ro if you could just run away with her and that's it. You can just run away. You can say, yes, goodbye. That's it. Like, the idea that in, in Arthur's mind, that he's going to get enough money doing this shit with Dutch, and then he will make sure that everybody can go off. Because he has... Got, Arthur has no interest in going to Tahiti. He doesn't want to do that. Like, that's not that's not what he wants to do. So as long as he can get enough money for everybody else to go off and live in their little paradise with Dutch, he would absolutely take his share of the money and run away with Mary because, for whatever reason, he is still in love with that woman. But it turns out, by the end of the game... You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. You're not even allowed to do that. So, hold on. Let me pay off my bounty in this state. This state is... I have a $10 bounty in Lemoyne. So I will... Welcome back. Pay my bounty. You, no, not all of it. I don't want. I'm not going to spend. They killed him in bed. I'm just going to. I'll pay off the ten dollars. I hope you understand that I was set up, but uh, you know. What do you need to send? What you need to send? Oh, this. Yeah, I'll send that. This will get where it needs to. All right. So long. All right, that's it. That's it for this stream because there's. There's not enough, uh, yeah, there's too much stuff to do now, so. That's true, he dogged John for so long for doing that, for walking away or trying to, by himself, though, like, not, not making, making sure everybody was all right. Like, I'm sure Arthur would draw a line between those two things, say it was different when he was doing it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think that's all we had to do. We had time to do today, and uh, we'll do another one um, early this week sometime, and then a big one on Thursday. So thanks everybody for being here. Thank you everybody who was 
who participated in the double shot, who watched the our review and discussion of episode three of The Last of Us, and um, and we will uh, we'll talk more uh, about that next week, and we'll do more of these streams uh, later. But thanks everybody uh, for this, and um, I love the discussion in there about everything. Um, you guys are great. Thank you all for being a part of this. It really, you know, makes me feel fantastic that we have this community here that we've created. And I'll um, I'll see you all um, later. Further on down the trail. Uh, good night, partners. Yeehaw.